What is up everyone? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. So right now I'm about to get into this video called Hong Man Choi, the Giant Who Terrified MMA. So let's get to it. I mean, being that big, shit, I'll be terrified too. That's a large individual. And it's probably uh destroy these people. Okay, one. I look at that, the dude's head is at is just below the dude's shoulder. And the only way you can fight somebody like that, you're gonna have to get in the inside, which means that you won't have to take some hits. And if your uh willpower is enough to snuff, you're gonna get seriously hurt. You have to be in and out. Cause somebody that big, they gonna wanna fight you at a distance. Once you, if you get up close in like a telephone booth, that's the only way you can win. Cause you can get off more shots, but you gonna take some damage. <laughs> Whoa, one kick. Dude tried to throw a kick, but you don't see it coming because it's so slow, and he was just like, <laughs> you know, with a hook. Knee. Ooh. Busted him open. Yeah, he down. Damn. Wide open. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. That right there was deadly. Stood him down. With a straight. That was terrible. Left himself wide open. Got hit with two straight lefts. Got noodle legs after that. Brock Lesnar is a large individual, but look how small he is compared to Choi. And I guess at some point they were supposed to maybe match up or something, but it probably fell through. Crazy. <laughs> Yo, hey, gotta admire his heart though. Gotta admire his heart. But his hand, his arms ain't even long enough to reach the dude's jaw. He, he had to like jump up and hit him. But look, he, the knee right here. If he bring that knee up, dude is going to sleep. Whoa! Whole foot just palm in his face. That gotta be like a size. At least a size 17. Jesus. Hongman Choi is a South Korean mixed martial artist standing at 218 centimeters, 7 feet 2, and with a body weight that's been up to 175.5 kilograms, 387 pounds. The Korean monster's unbelievable size meant he was able to overcome opponents vastly more experienced, of but course. this also worked against him as he was fast tracked to fight some of the greatest MMA fighters of all time. Yep, you see what he did? You see how he quickly closed the distance? That's what I said. That's the only way you would have a chance to get somebody that big. You have to quickly close the distance because somebody that big is going to be as maneuverable. And you want to you wanna get in a telephone booth type of fight. And here, right here, look like he's trying to bring him to the ground for a ground and pound. Choi, with his huge size and some notable victories, was getting but, noticed <laughs> all Like I also said, you're going to eat some shots. <laughs> around the world, and even Shaquille O'Neal was interested in fighting him. How oh, mad, Choi? That's your name? Yeah, I'm coming for you. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I'm retiring next year, two years. I'm coming for you. Age 25, Choi entered the highest level of kickboxing at the K1 World Grand Prix, where he won his debut via TKO, 1 minute Sat 40 down, into the first punch. round. Choi like, began to have fuck? great success at this elite level. In his first 10 fights, he won 9, beating fighters such as Oliver McCall, the boxer who had beaten Lennox Lewis and Larry Holmes, and also he defeated Semi Shield, a four times K1 kickboxing world champion. 
In those 10 yeah, fights, he lost okay. just one by a controversial decision to Remy Bonjaski, a three times K1 kickboxing world champion himself. Choi was proving he was a massive handful for any fighter on the planet. He's just waiting to counter. Ooh, caught him. Now that Choi was having great success, his confidence <laughs> no. was growing as he towered over his opponents. And it wasn't long before an MMA promotion came calling. His first fight was against Bobby Olegan, who he destroyed in just 16 seconds. I bet. Dude ran right in. Kind <laughs> like he's dragging him. Ground a pound. Yeah, ain't nothing you can do. This incredible run of victories since Choi's career began against elite opponents turned out to be a double-edged sword. As Choi and his management's confidence grew so high that they decided to take a fight against undefeated 28-0 Fedor Emelianenko in MMA. A decision they would live to regret. Yeah, I bet because Fedor know how to attack somebody like that. You know, close the distance. Telephone booth and probably get to the ground and, and get in them shots. Yeah, let me see. Going for the takedown. You countered it right there. But how is he on the ground? Oh, got him in the arm bar. Hey, <laughs> yeah, that's the only way. I think that, that tired him. Same thing. Yep, you're going to take shots, but that's the only way you're going to beat somebody like that. Arm bar. Wow. Despite losing in under two minutes, it had been a valiant display from Choi against one of MMA's all-time great heavyweights. However, this loss severely damaged Choi's confidence. Yep, you, and it you can see it in his face when he walks away from the ring. Because it was so easy for him, but when you get in there with somebody that knows how to attack that style, then you really see where you at. Display from Troy again. Yeah, I'll be like, man, I thought I was invincible. It's one of MMA's all time no, great no heavyweights. However, this loss severely damaged Troy's confidence, and it became a clear mark of where his career began to go into downfall. Choi was very muscular and had good speed and endurance for a giant. However, his size soon caught up with him and he had serious medical yeah. conditions, including Riding a brain tumor removed. Ooh. Inexplicably, just a few months later, he was put into a fight against another legend of MMA, Mirko Krokop. Oh, yeah. Choi actually did yeah. amazingly well, lasting yeah, six and a half minutes in that fight. However, his speed clearly in decline and eventually a kick would finish him off. Yeah. A big money fight was then set up Brock for Lesnar. Brock Lesnar, who had just come to MMA from WWE Wrestling to fight Hongman Choi in the main event. However, sadly, Choi wasn't able to pass the medical. You can see the difference in size between him and the huge Brock Lesnar here, though. In a sad story, but one that we see far too often in the fight game, Hongman Choi continued his career far too long, sometimes yeah. having breaks of up to five years, wow. but then going back to fighting. He had matches against huge men such as Akabono and Bob Sapp, who themselves usually dwarf their opponents, but look small next to the real life giant Hongman Choi. Towards the end of his career, Choi went in against opponents such as Toyota. Choi weighed 40 kilograms less than in his peak and sadly suffered some brutal knockouts. Yeah, he had Timber! 
He would keep on fighting and because of his huge size would still be able to defeat some opponents and carried on getting some victories. However, in amongst them were some very heavy losses. Sadly, Hong Man Choi just wasn't the man he used to be. Yeah. However, in his prime, Hong Man Choi had been probably the most accomplished giant we've ever seen in mixed martial arts, beating some elite level opponents and causing everybody he fought against huge problems. He will forever be in the memories of anybody that saw him fight at his prime. Let me know in the comments, did you ever see him fight? Thanks for watching guys and I'll be back with another video very soon. That was cool, but yeah, you know, being that big, usually your body starts to break down, you need all those different surgeries, you know, really makes you realize how terrifying it would be to see a giant on the battlefield back in the day. People of his height often have health issues, so it's incredibly great for him to go in the ring. In reality, I expect he was a gentle giant. You know, strangely happy he knocked 10 bells of crap out of the eagle to his little idiots he went up against. <laughs> well, that's going to do it for my reaction. I appreciate you all for tuning in. Before you go, be sure to drop a like and a comment below. And until the next one, peace.